Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and today we're going through some knives that recently dropped and are available right now. This is the Urban EDC Becerro and the Green Micarta in Deep Satin version just dropped. I will have them linked right at the top of the description, so if you want to check them out, they're going to go fast. So act fast. I'm posting this exactly right at the moment they drop. So this is a knife that already came out in three other versions and they immediately sold out. And there's a reason why. This thing is amazing. Um, kind of similar to the F5.5, but in my opinion, I like it even more. The detent is so, so crispy. Such a great detent. This one is the brown micarta version. Uh, like I said, the green micarta in satin version is the one that's available right now, but it's going to sell out quick. Um, like I said, man, there's a reason why. These things are absolutely amazing knives. They, they, once you get in hand, you can just kind of feel that quality that feels really good. Um, now, this one is the Barley, the Urban EDC Barley that also just dropped. M390 in titanium slip joint. And it is a Devo design. I love this pull right here, the blade popping out the way it does. It makes it so easy to, to pull out, hit that half stop and snap open. You can also do just a full opening. It, uh, has that decent amount of strength on the pole, not too strong, not too light, it's just right. Nice snap into the, the open position because it's not locked. Very, very slim. That's the first thing you notice about this knife is just how slim it is. Nice and slicey, slicey uh, sheep's foot blade. This one has the stone wash finish. There's three different options, I believe, of this one, three different color options. Um, TA hardware all the way around, love to see that. And it does have a titanium, or no, I think this is, sorry, this is a steel back spring. And yeah, ergonomic, but it's super thin. So it's ergonomic for what it is. You know, it's a light duty knife. You're mostly going to be using it in the pinch grips and things like that. You know, maybe slice a box or two, um, open some packages, which that's what it's, you know, awesome about it. Now, as far as a pocket slip, you have to, uh, you're going to have to figure one out if you want to put in a slip, but there's tons of companies and people that do them. Um, for an example, the, the one that I've been going to, uh, lately is Richter, Richter, um, knives. He, uh, he does really, really good slip work. Let's get to the next one. Next is the DC blades Cito. Now this one has a dual ground clip point blade that does trail up a bit in M390 steel. Nice deep satin finish, love that satin. Titanium frame lock with a micarta overlay. Um, there's other options. I believe there's other options available. Um, I have gotten to check this one out before and yeah, it's pretty damn good. I think it was the prototype the last time. It does have a titanium milled pocket clip and backspacer with some nice uh, texturing on there to, to add to a little bit more grip. It is stubby and chunky, but for a stubby chunky knife, I can actually get a full four finger grip because of this, how it angles right here. It allows basically my pinky to kind of wrap right around that, the ass end of it. And then this is nice and comfortable in the palm. So for being a short stubby knife, this is actually very comfortable. Um, yeah, I feel this stuff a little bit, but it doesn't bother me to the point that I'm going to bitch about it. But yes, I do feel this. My finger lands like kind of right on there. So, you know, they could have been a little bit bigger, but since the handle's so short, what can you do? The dual grind makes it to where this is thicker, thicker here up at the tip. So you're not going to have to worry about it being super fragile or anything. You can see it has a nice thick spine. Then right here is a deep hollow grind, making it very slicey. So right there, you're going to be able to slice through things. And with this one, you can do your utility cuts or, you know, whatever, where you might need to get down on a surface and do a little impact because it's a little thicker. The action is really good, uh, but I do have one negative. Um, well, I actually have two two or three negatives, but the one negative about the action are actually two things. One is the, the, um, the detent ramp. So there's a ramp put in right there. It's that little notch you see. Now that basically makes it to where the detent ball that holds the blade into the handle, when you open it, it's still there. So when I disengage, that detent ball needs to get back up onto the lock bar. So sometimes they put a trail there 
uh, or a ramp that ramps it up so it doesn't just dramatically. Everybody's felt a knife where it's like you hit that detent and then it like pops when you try to close it. A ramp makes it to where it goes smooth. So instead of it uh, popping, going over the detent and possibly ripping it out, it makes it very smooth. Now with this one, it lands on it when I go to disengage it. Now, yes, I can hold really low and possibly get past it, but it does hit it. And then the cool thing is, is that since it does have a ramp, I can just basically shake it and it'll go right past it. But I prefer no detent ramp. The only time I prefer a detent ramp is if the detent is extremely early, like right there. If it's like right there, then okay. But if it's that late, don't put a ramp because otherwise it takes longer to get up on the, the lock bar. If there's no ramp, it immediately gets up on the lock bar. It's it, pass it immediately. So it just makes it much better for the closing when there's no ramp, if the detent's gonna be late. The next thing is the lock bar access could be a little bit better. It's not horrible, but I do find myself slipping sometimes a little bit. I wish it was just a little bit more access or textured right there. If it was just textured, I think that would be perfect. But the detent though, man, super snappy, the fuller, Great reverse and thumb flick. This does have amazing action. It's really, really good action. So these little things I'm nitpicking about don't even, you know, they're definitely not deal breakers whatsoever. Um, and like I said, with the detail ramp, you can get past it still. You just gotta hold lower. Um, and the lock bar's not bad. It's just, I would prefer texture. Um, Next thing, um, as far as negatives go, uh, Sharp and plunger and could be better. You know, they, they tapered the plunge grind. So it starts here and it ends basically damn near at the edge. There's a little bit of room, but I prefer it to be just bigger and deeper so that I have more room to sharpen out. Um, all in all, I think it's a cool knife. I, I do wish these were on the inside since they are the three cutouts, uh, just so it doesn't um, hinder anything. It is a little tight right here um, under the clip, but I think most people will not have a problem with that with regular jeans. All in all, very cool knife. Um, the next one, High Grain EDC or High Grain Knives DeVille. Now this one, I freaking dig this thing a lot, like a lot, like a lot. I love this knife. There's a reason why I have featured it like three times now on the channel. It is just that dope. Um, these are available for pre-order right now, uh, but this is one I personally uh, <laughs> wouldn't want to miss. It's really, really good. Um, the jimping on the front flipper is very, very well done. He wanted it to be as low profile as possible, and he nailed it, you know. Um, in my one first impressions, I said I wished it was a little bit taller, but I'm going to take that back because I understand now that he was trying to go for as low profile as possible while still having a functioning front flipper, and this is more than functioning. This is easy peasy. It's great. It's amazing. The, um, the grind on it is super, super thin. Very, very deep hollow grind, nice and slicey. The, the closing action and opening action is just absolute guillotine. Like <laughs> straight guillotine. Now, granted, this one is broken in. Um, great access to the lock bar, very, very comfortable disengagement. Easy to get past the detent. Detent is nice and early. Um, so you have no double clutch whatsoever. Thumb flicks amazing, reverse flicks amazing, and you have this fuller you can hold low or high on. Detent is nice and strong. Ergonomics are great. Um, it's very, very comfortable right here, and you still have the ability to choke up for finer detail. Pinch grips are gonna be amazing. You can easily turn around and cut straps or ropes. Gas station knife fighting grip's not gonna be the best because you know the, the blade shape, but still, Great, great um, knife. And for those that love sheep's foot, which is most people, this is a banger. The clip works amazing. Perfect clip. It literally is super smooth in and out of the pocket, even in my thick jeans, titanium backspacer. There's obviously multiple different versions or a couple different options. Um, I do have one other option right here we can look at really quick. So you get two different examples there. Now, the, he does have some minor changes happening that uh, that are basically 
covering the nitpicks that I had, which are very, very subtle. You know, like the sharp control plunge grind. Um, I believe he he's working on that so that that will be completely different or not completely, but it'll be better. The plunge grind will be pulled back and separated from the edge, which is my biggest complaint about this thing. So that's uh, very little to have just that. Um, I did notice a tiny, tiny, tiny hint, but these are prototypes. I don't even want to bring it up. I'm not even going to bring it up because they're prototypes. So anything that, that would be like a minor, minor, issue um, with with these knives are going to be completely different with the production version which this being a prototype like this is damn near perfect you know so for this to be the example and to only have the minor minor subtle changes that are going to happen which are so subtle you probably wouldn't even notice um, that that's awesome man good for him on scoring it right the first time around i think this was his first prototype i'm not sure but great great job Really quick, just to interrupt for one second, Atoma diamond plates. These are my number one recommended diamond plates for freehand. So I also like them for fixed angled systems, but I do have one other diamond plate that I like the, like a little bit more or at least equal to. Um, but as far as freehand goes, Atoma diamond plates available right now on Neve Knife Co. site. We have the replacement sheets. So you don't have to buy the whole plate and we price them as affordable as you could possibly get. Now, if you want to save some money, you can grab one plate and then a replacement sheet of the grit that you want for your second one and just glue it on the back of it. They're thick plates. So you can just slap this thin little liner because this is just a thin liner right here on this side. So you can have a double sided plate, you know, and then when you store them, just store them upright like, th like this or store them however you want. You know, you can even just store them back inside these packages right here. Then you don't have to worry about the diamonds hitting anything. That's kind of what I do. And then you can just stack them up. But like I said, we got them as affordable as we possibly could. Um, so definitely if you're wanting some Atome plates, get them from the Neve Knife Co site. Very soon we will have some for fixed angle knife sharpening systems like the one by sixes and so on. But right now we only have the three by eight. Now this last one we're gonna close on is not actually available right now, but it is in production and it will be available in a couple months. This is the Neve Knife Co. Offender, and it has a harpooned, slight recurve Tonto. This type of recurve you can easily sharpen on any fixed angle system with a one inch stone. I made it very subtle so you're gonna get the, the, um, the benefits of a recurve without the downsides. Very thin behind the edge. The blade stock thickness is a good thickness to where I can bring some strength out to the tip, you know, for because it is a Tonto with this flat grind up here in the front. The action, I think, is amazing. Lefty EDC said that he thought the detent was all like he said. He said he thought that he would want it maybe just a tiny bit stronger. But then you know he did bring up, but then it might not work out as well for the front flipper. Personally, for me, I think this is an amazing detent. If I want it stronger, I just hold up higher. If I want it a little lighter, I hold a little lower. But it doesn't matter. Both are so good. Even the thumb flick. Um, and then. Because this thing, or and, this uh, front flipper is so, so easy to use. I freaking dig it. I love it. And I love these ergonomics. Um, I, I designed them so that this would swell down in your hand, and your hand would basically fit right there in that, that, that grip right there. But you could always choke back and wrap your pinky around the ASN and push that up into your palm if needed for penetration. But if you're just slicing, you can choke all the way up or choke back to right there with just a nice solid grip and this kind of contours into your palm. And then right here for me, this little thing is a little sharp, I think for most people, not for me, but for most people. So I'm moving that to the inside. We're adding a better sharpening tool and plunge grind. They, they, they'd have it right now on the, the production ones. The, the, um, the logo is gonna be moved to the pivot. And, uh, and that's it, that's gonna be the changes. This is an amazing pocket clip, by the way. Um, I wanted a deep carry milled titanium pocket clip, and that's exactly what this is. They did a phenomenal job with the ramp. It's so smooth in out of the pocket. The lock bar cutouts on the inside, so you don't have to worry about it catching on anything. And I've been using this thing for, well, I just recently got it back. I went on a trip with it, and this was the knife I carried on the entire trip the whole time. So I used the hell out of it. Um, we went up north, and it was a great time. And I just, I basically uh, used it for everything I needed a knife for, and it was 
great. Um, it's definitely an awesome carry. I love how smooth it is in and out of the pockets because I'm starting to become angry at knives that have clips that mess up my pants. Jeans are too expensive these days for me to mess up my pants on a bad from a bad pocket clip. Just give me a good one. Um, one other little thing that's gonna change is that this is going to be slightly thicker up on top, just so that there's not, so this would be barely, barely, um, <clears throat> just a little bit higher right there, so that there's a little bit more meat up there, you know, just in case. Not that it's fragile or anything. This is Magna Cut, by the way, 63 to 64 HRC. Uh, but me personally, I freaking dig this thing. Look at this gear, the, uh, the jimping on the backspacer back here. I love that. It's nice and grippy, nice and catchy. So badass to me. Um, I freaking love it. There's only going to be 400 of them, or that's what we have in production is 400 pieces. So yeah, there you guys go. Um, like I said, everything will be linked down in the description. Work hard, stay tough. Until next time, peace.